guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me, and today I'm going to be doing the long-awaited sorority Q&A. I posted a video about a month ago asking you guys to ask me questions, and I actually got a lot of questions, so I'm really sorry if this video is long, but trust me, it will be very informative if you are planning on going through recruitment. I'm so excited to launch my first series ever on my channel. It's called Hashtag How to Sorority. After being in a sorority for about a year now, I want to share all my experiences with you guys and this coming year I'm gonna be getting a little so I'm definitely planning on doing some videos about that if you guys have any video ideas for this series please let me know in the comments down below all right I think that's it let's get on to the questions so the first question is where did you go to get involved in the process of getting into a sorority so I have always known that I wanted to rush ever since like freshman year of high school or even before that I knew I wanted to rush even before my sister wanted to know she wanted to rush she's like three years older than me so that was kind of weird so when it was my time I googled UCF recruitment and I automatically found the link to register if you guys are planning to go through recruitment at UCF I'll leave the registration link in the description box below so it can be easy for you guys to sign up I recommend signing up now because there is a fee I think it's $150 right now but I'm pretty sure it's going to keep increasing as the summer goes on. So if you know you want to join a sorority, definitely register now so you can get it cheaper. So a question I get asked a lot is if you're different, like how does that play in recruitment? And I definitely felt this way when I was going through recruitment. Obviously, I'm not the cookie cutter Barbie girl that I see in like college movies, but that's not how it is. Trust me, my sorority is so diverse and that's one thing I love about it so much. It's funny because before I went through recruitment, I would stock all of the Tumblr pages just trying to find like colored girls, like ethnic girls. So that would give me hope. But honestly, being on the other side, it makes me so sad when people ask me this because it's really not about the color of your skin. It's about how well-rounded of a person you are. The next question is, is there any hazing? There is no hazing, guys. That is long gone. At least I can speak for sororities. I'm not sure about fraternities, but on UCF's campus, they take it so seriously. If someone gets hazed and they find out about it, your whole sorority could get in trouble and get suspended or kicked off Greek Park. So honestly, it's just not worth it to anyone to risk it for their whole sorority. And I'm pretty sure I signed something that said like I would not participate in any hazing. So they take it really, really seriously. So I would not be worried about it. The next question I got is, did I pledge to an Indian sorority? I did not because I've always known I wanted to be in a Panhellenic sorority. But yeah, I joined Kappa Delta. If you're a Kappa Delta too, comment down below AOT. The next question I got is how much does it cost and is it worth joining? It's really hard to say how much it costs because it's different everywhere. My sister just became an alumni of her sorority, but when she was in it, they had just built a house. So obviously her dues are gonna be way more expensive than mine because my house was already built. So my fees just came from maintaining my house. But there are a lot of sororities without houses, so that makes your dues a lot cheaper. Plus there's things like meal plans. Some sororities do have it and some sororities don't. Mine personally does and oh my god, I'm hashtag blessed because I have meal plan. Like, it is the best thing ever. I probably wouldn't survive my collegiate years without it, but I've heard of sororities ranging from like $500 to $4,000 a year, so I can't really say just a number. Also, your first year of the sorority will be the most expensive because of new member dues and all the t-shirts and accessories you wanna buy with your letters on it. Trust me, you will go crazy when you see everything with your letters on it. I'm still not over that phase. And yes, it is so worth joining. Let me know if you guys wanna hear pros and cons about sororities in my next video. The next question is, is it very time consuming? It is extremely time consuming, honestly. Especially the last month, two of my sisters were running for sweethearts, which meant we had to go like support them at like events and stuff, which I personally love having stuff to do. And it's a way for me to socialize so I won't just be like in my room alone every single day, you know? So I personally love it, but it could be hard if you have a job. You definitely have to ask off for Sundays because of chapter, and then there's a lot of other events that you probably have to ask off for. But don't worry because a lot of my sisters have jobs and actually pay for all of their dues themselves. So the next person said, 
I'm a KD from the University of Tennessee. I just want to know what your favorite part about being a KD is. Ao Tizzle. AOT girl, and my favorite part about being a KD is just having friends to call up whenever you need to hang out with someone. Like, I am such a people person that if I just stay in my room the whole day, I will literally feel so shitty about myself. So the fact that I can just go to the sorority house and just have a conversation with anyone makes me feel so much better. And especially because because I'm an out-of-state student, they made it so much easier to just find my friends. And you know, if you want like late night desserts, you can just be like, hey, do you want to come get a pizookie with me? You have so many sisters that you can just hang out with all the time. And honestly, I've never had so many people support me and my YouTube channel and just like my hobbies in general. Because in high school, people were just like, not nice about it <laughs> but all of my sisters are just so supportive of me and it's just nice to be surrounded by people who want the best for you the next question is how hard is it to rush as a junior so honestly the organizations do want you to be there like longer than like three years like three to four years is the ideal time but i would say just go through recruitment because you never know i had so many sophomores in my pledge class and i had a handful of juniors too some people just aren't ready to join a sorority until they're a junior and they can't help that, so I would say go for it. The next question is, do a lot of people rush during spring or is it uncommon? I would say kind of uncommon because not a lot of sororities do spring rush, and if they do, they literally only take like maybe like two to like eight people. So if you do have the option to do it spring or fall, I would definitely pick fall because it kind of sucks if your options are narrowed down. So next someone asks for tips for someone who is wanting to rush but is shy around new people. So even though I'm not super shy, I was very, very nervous walking in those doors. So first go in there with a clear mind because all you need to think about is if you like the sorority. Second is that I really feel like you can make yourself confident in the moment. My mom always said to stand in like the Superman pose for five seconds and that will help your confidence so much. So if you need to do that before you go in, I highly recommend it because you'll feel so great about yourself once you do it. And then third, these girls don't really know you or your past, so you have nothing to be like afraid about. You should just walk in there feeling confident like you have a new start to life. The next question is, is it hard to deal with getting dropped by houses during rush? This is a really good question because people take it very differently. I would just say go in with an open mind because if you do have that open mind, you won't get hurt as much as other people do that are closed minded. I did get dropped by one of my top houses and after that I had trust issues with like every house, but you really have to trust the system because obviously I ended up where I needed to be and I'm so grateful for it. One thing I do advise you not to do is if you get dropped by your favorite house do not just drop the whole recruitment but I really recommend just going through the whole week suffering through it because you never know the next question is when does sorority recruitment start it is the week before school starts it starts on a Monday and then bid day is that Saturday the next question is did you have any recommendation letters for Katie or any other sororities I did not because UCF doesn't really do that for some reason I don't know why but they're really really big in SEC school so if you're going to one of those schools, I would definitely recommend them. But at UCF, I asked their Ogamas when I went through and they said that they don't really look at them. The next question is, was it hard to balance academics, your Greek life and social life and YouTube? It wasn't really hard at first because it was kind of gradual. Like you would have like an event, and a meeting you had to go to like once or twice or thrice a week. But at the end of spring semester, it got so chaotic and it was kind of hard to juggle, but it's all about time management. If you plan everything out, you'll be fine. I literally got a planning app because it kind of got too crazy for me and that helped me so, so much. The next question is, what happens if I'm put in a sorority and I hate it? So if you see the sorority that you didn't want on your bid day card, then you can just tell your O Gamma and they can like, do the process from there. I don't think it's like that hard of a process. It's just probably saying like, okay, she's not gonna accept the bid. The next question is, do sororities and fraternities do stuff together? Yes, absolutely. We have socials together. We have homecoming week together where we have like a social every night. Then there are things like philanthropy events, which is when a sorority or fraternity will put on an event to raise money for their cause. The next question is, how did you know you wanted to join a sorority? Like I said, I've always known I'm a people person, so it makes socializing a lot easier. And it was a lot easier to make friends during the fall compared to Summer B when I wasn't in a sorority. 
The next question is, I already accepted the fall semester admission. Should I not rush yet because I don't know what life is like there? It really depends on the person. I know I wanted to join a sorority, so if I did do fall, I would definitely just go ahead and rush. But if you do take a little bit more time adjusting to your surroundings, then I would say just wait till spring recruitment if you wanna do that, or wait till the next fall recruitment, which I do recommend. The next question is, are keeping up with academics important once you get in? It is extremely important because once you start falling under the GPA requirement, you get called to standards and they might put you on academic bad standing, which means you can't go to any socials or do anything fun. The next question is, how do you convince your parents to let you join a sorority? For me, it was kind of simple because my sister was already in a sorority. I would just tell them all the pros about sororities. Like, networking is so big. A lot of sisters get their jobs from other sisters, so that's really cool. And if you're an out-of-state student and don't know anyone going to your school, then it might be something good for you because trust me, it made me so much happier of a person. So if they're concerned about your mental health, then they should at least let you go through recruitment. The next question is, can you still join other clubs and still have time for a sorority? Absolutely, some sororities actually make you join clubs. And I kind of like it because you can branch out and meet a lot of different people. So I tried to do the Fashion Society Club and I'm a part of the Photography Club like Facebook page. I don't know if they have like meetups. I don't know about that, but I guess that's a club. But yes, there is a lot of time for other stuff too. So don't worry about that. And the last question is, even if you don't want to join a sorority, is it still worth it to rush? 100%. Yes, guys, because you'll never know unless you try going through recruitment. One of my best friends in KD actually went through recruitment as a joke and she's still in my chapter. So I would just go for it because you might end up loving it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. If you guys have any other questions, then leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. And don't forget about leaving me video ideas for my hashtag how to sorority series. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Go to my